Hello folks, the question for today is for A level and you can see here, uh, you can see, read the year, uh, it is 2018, uh, October, November, paper 1, 1 and the question number is, uh, I forgot the question number but still the problem is there. Uh, it says that it is concerned with the uh, forces or we can say moment or torque. It says that a uniform rod of length 200 centimeter, 20 centimeter is freely pivoted at point P. So this is point P here. Point P, the rod is held horizontally in equilibrium by a 60 Newton force here. This is the force applied. Weight uh, that is attached to the rod by a string, by a string passing over a frictionless pulley. Now we have to find if this thing is in equilibrium, we have to find what is the weight of the rod. So first we have to understand the mechanism here. This is the pivot. Uh, we have the uh, <coughs> pivot or fulcrum here. Here we have a, just a short end here, 40 centimeter, and here we have uh, the remaining length is 160 centimeter. Uh, naturally, what will happen is this rod will tilt like this. This is short, this is long, it will tilt like this. So this uh, tilting is prevented by using uh, an arrangement here where this weight acts downwards on the string and the string goes, uh, goes through the pulley, through the ridge of the pulley like this and attaches here. So this thing will create a force somewhat like this, like this and like this. So this force prevents this thing from dipping like this. So it will rise it slightly. So that's why this torque is neutralized by this torque. That's why it is in balance. Now what you have to find is what is the weight of the rod? So we have to find the weight of the rod and the weight of the rod will be acting since it is a uniform rod, the weight should act uh, uh, right at the center. So that's why the weight will be acting somewhere here, somewhere here. So this is the weight of the weight of the rod. So I have used the symbol WR. And let me say this weight is simply, this is uh, uh, weight. Uh, so let me use the, the symbol for this weight as weight uh, 1. Let us say this is weight 1 and this is weight R. Now if this thing is in equilibrium, what is happening here is the clockwise torque the clockwise moment created by this uh, WR should be equal and opposite to the anti-clockwise moment or torque created by this force, this force. So what now I have is, let us uh, uh, write, them, uh, write them individually and separately. First let me write the clockwise torque here, clockwise moment here. So clockwise, clockwise moment or torque moment, so tau clockwise is equal to is equal to the force here which is WR, W of the rod into, into this distance, into the distance from here to here. Now uh, since this acts in the middle, the distance this should be 100 centimeter, half of this 200 centimeter, 100 centimeter. So, so this distance should be equal to this 100 minus 40 equal to 60 centimeter. So this should be 60 centimeter which will be equal to 0 0.60 meters. I am using the SI system here, so that's why this 60 centimeter will turn to be turn to be 0 0.60 meters. So this will directly uh, rotate this thing clockwise. And now we have anti-clockwise moment, anti-clockwise clockwise moment tau anti-clockwise will be equal to here the force is slightly angled. So what now we have to do is it is this equal to the force here, which is the force here. So this is the force W1 let us say, it is uh, W1, W1 into, into when this thing rotates, this thing is somewhat like the radius, it is somewhat like the radius. So that's why I have to use this whole length here from P to this, we have the formula here, formula tau is equal to FR sine of theta. So this R is the radius during the rotation. So this thing will be the radius, so that's why I will have R, R is equal to this is 60 and this is 100, it is 160. Or I can say this is 200 and this is 40, 200 minus 40 is equal to 160 centimeter. So I can write it like this, so this is 160 centimeter, centimeter. So this will be equal to 0, this is equal to equal to equal to 1.60 R into, into sine theta where theta is the angle formed by the direction of this radius with the direction of the force, the smaller angle one actually. So if I 
trace it like this like this this will be that angle so this thing this thing will be this thing will be the angle which should be equal to equal and opposite to this so this is 30 degree so that's equal to sine of 30 degree so it should be w1 into 1.60 into sine of 30 degree so this will give us so during equilibrium during equilibrium we should have we should have tau tau of uh, clockwise is equal to tau anticlockwise which gives me wr into 0 0.60 equal to w1 into 1.60 into sine of 30 degree so this gives me wr is equal to w1 into 1.60 into sine of 30 degree whole divided 0 0.60 and that's equal to that's equal to so w1 is equal to 60 newton 60 newton into 1.60 into 0 0.5 whole divided it is 0 0.60 so if i go through the uh, values here uh, what i'll obtain is so first this into this is 30 30 uh, so let me cancel this thing so uh, this into this it is 100 0 0.60 into 100 equal to this thing this into this is 50 50 50 and 50 into 1 by 6 is equal to it is 80 newton so the weight of the rod is equal to 80 newton and uh, in the multiple choice question uh, it was somewhat like in choice number c uh, according to my memory it is choice number c so that should be the correct answer so the wr or weight of the rod is equal to 80 newton